stolen land. Give it back. Stolen culture. Give it back. Stolen climate. Drop it Stolen land. Give it back. Stolen culture. Give it back. Stolen climate. Drop it three years and a bit longer I've been on this campaign that's trying to repatriate, get museums to repatriate um, certain artefacts back to my people in Australia. And this is one of those items here. Why I feel strongly about getting the Gweagal Shield repatriated is that tells the story of that first day in 1770. Now it shows that we were fired upon while Cook was in his boats. So he fired the first shot at my people that day in Camay, Botany Bay. Now to give a culture back their history, to give a culture back some pride, you know, give a culture back a learning process, you know, so they can learn how, how it was done for thousands and thousands of years. I see that as a real powerful thing. Each object in this museum belongs to a people which the museum inherently does not serve. Repeatedly, the British Museum continues to leave many of us at a crossroad with our desire to learn at the expense of our morals by allowing BP to sponsor exhibits celebrating the history of the same people it exploits every single day. And just a few months before the invasion and occupation of Iraq, BP lobbied the British government to help the company access Iraq's immense oil reserves. The illegal invasion and war slaughtered over a million Iraqis, and the effects are still felt and protested to this day. So I ask all of you today to demand that the British Museum end its partnership with BP. No war, no warming. No war, no warming. No war, no warming. No war. Until the turn of the 20th century, the people of Palestine, the Palestinians, included Arab Muslims, Arab Christians and Jews. The settler colonialism of the Zionist movement that conquered Palestine in 1948 created a misleading binary of Arab versus Jew that informs today's typical readings of the past. Some of the 4,429 Palestinian objects acquired by this museum were purchased from the Palestine Exploration Fund a British imperial organization. Its aims were essentially to try to prove the Bible right and to gather military intelligence. The British Museum's director and managers seem to believe that putting certain artifacts on display for people in London is more important than delivering justice for cultures devastated by colonialism. They think that promoting BP in return for half of a percent of the museum's budget is more important than the lives and livelihoods of people suffering from climate disasters around the world. We refuse to accept the linked injustices of extractivism, colonialism and climate change. BP or not BP will continue to protest at this museum until we have picked up BP. Thank you. Artifacts, the Parthenon marbles, the Parthenon sculptures that are being built in room 18 right here, where time has frozen for 200 years. The specific artifacts, they cannot be truly appreciated in this current situation. How can they be truly appreciated when they are decapitated? When, when you have bits and pieces all over the world? Who can actually understand the story of the world in this room?